Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Sam, and we're back with Michelle and Chuck, our two friends with living rooms. They have living rooms. Yeah. Well,、I'm、of course, they, <laughs> they have a home, so it's likely they have a living room, and they've been talking about decorating their living room, the things they have, the things they need, the things they like. So we're going to spend one more day with them. Now we've talked about our living rooms yesterday. If you could have all the money you need, and you know all the people to help you. Are there is there something you've always wanted to have in your living room, or with kids, something you would love to have, something you need to have to make it into the perfect living room for your home right now? Well, for my home right now,、mm. uh, it's a really kind of silly thing, but it、okay. would be super nice. Is if you ever look at、um, design magazines or des- you know on TV or whatever,、right. the new thing is those big. Coffee tables that are actually big ottomans, so they're like,、huh? what? yeah, they're like really big, and they're. It's a co- coffee table chair. Um, not really a chair. Or for your more, feet. Yeah, it looks more like、oh, it's for your feet, but it's、okay. not. It's meant to be a table, and but it's all padded and soft, and、oh. you know, soft but hard enough that you could put a tray on it and still could eat on it and things、okay. like that. That's like my dream right now because、okay. my kids won't smash their face on the corner. I see. Oh, <laughs> right. It would be a very safe table to have in my living room, but little, they're so expensive. Little <laughs> kids running around playing, they fall, they hit their head, and if the coffee table is, you know, wood or plastic、mm-hmm. or even glass, anything, anything. metal, it can be dangerous. Yeah. So this would be perfect for、yes. that. Okay. But they are—you can't really find them very well in Taiwan. And the ones that I did see at at、uh, IKEA are not huge, and they're still really expensive. Okay. Well, let's maybe we'll just get you a coffee table, some old pillows, and we'll just tape the、okay. old. <laughs> that will look terrible, but we'll be very safe. All right, guys, we're gonna get to our dialogue. So let's find out what Michelle and Chuck are up to today, and whose living room they're in now. Michelle and Chuck are talking about their perfect living rooms. I like my living room, but it's not perfect. What do you mean? It feels pretty wonderful. Here. Look at this photo. It has the perfect living room. It's not bad. I like the throw pillows on the sofa. Okay, everyone. We are into our last part, part C of what is your living room like. So we've seen Michelle's living room. We've seen Chuck's living room, and now Michelle and Chuck are talking about their perfect living rooms. So similar to what we had talked about in our intro, what can they do to make it perfect and comfy and cozy and fit their style? Exactly.、So、we'll see. Yes, we will see, and hopefully they will be able to get a perfect living room that's just right for them. Because if something is perfect, it is just right for you. You could not make it better, even if you could do anything in the world. If someone says, "Hey, can I do anything for you? Get anything for you? Make your life better in even a small way?" And if you say, "No, everything is perfect." That means your life, whatever, cannot be improved. It cannot be made better. If we're measuring good from zero to one hundred, you are a solid one hundred. You can't get better. You could get worse, but right now you're not. You're perfect. Good for you. Well done. Don't get used to it. Back to the dialogue. Yeah, Michelle then says. So Michelle says, "I like my living room,、good. but it's not." Perfect,、oh. which is a little surprising because remember Chuck had a huge reaction to、mm. Michelle's living room. He says, "Wow, it's so wonderful and pretty and lovely," and she's like, "Yeah, I like it, but it's not perfect. So maybe 
there's still something she wants to change. All right. Okay. Well, even though Michelle thinks there are a few things she could do to make her living room even better or maybe even perfect, Chuck. Just doesn't understand. He thinks her living room looks like something on TV or something you'd see in a beautiful magazine. He says, "What do you mean?" He's probably looking around. He's surprised. He doesn't quite understand why Michelle has said that. He says, "It feels pretty wonderful." He thinks that the living room is lovely, and you know, it's almost perfect. He has trouble trying to figure out what Michelle could make better. Yes, and so we have this word "mean," and it's a verb. It's not the word that means like, "Oh, you're being mean." Oh, you're so mean to me. No, it's not like that. It is a verb, and it is the expression or the the meaning. This is where it's a little hard to explain without using the word. So I will try not to say it until the end. But it's the expression of something,、uh, the facts of something, or the a statement that says that this is what. That thing represents. So, for example, you can say, "What does this word mean?" It means something, something, something. So, happy means to be glad. So, we use this word to say that things represent, or this is their meaning. This is what、uh, what they. Well, it's so hard to use this word without saying mean. But yes, it's it's the representation or the expression. Of that thing, of that fact, of that word, of that statement, and so here he's asking, "What do you mean? What is, what is it that you think you could change?" Like he doesn't quite understand, which is why he uses that phrase. What do you mean? I don't understand. Can you explain it to me? Exactly. If you don't know what someone's talking about, you go, "What do you mean? Can you explain it? Make it so that I can understand?" Because right now I don't understand. Wonderful. That's right. It looks wonderful to Chuck. If something is wonderful, it's amazing. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. It might even make you go, "I can't believe it. I am full of wonder. I am full of surprise." But really, we just mean very, very good. How's the cake? Wonderful. How was the movie? Wonderful. How was your sister's wedding? Oh, it was wonderful. All of these things were really good in different ways, but they were all really good. Back to the dialogue. Yes, and so Michelle is trying to explain what she means、ah, okay. by going here. Look、mm. at this photo.、Oh. It has the perfect living room.、Oh. So for her, this photo is the perfect living room. Everything that she wants. And that's what she is trying to make her living room look like. Okay. Well, although for her it might be the best living room she could ever have, it seems that Chuck is not that impressed. He thinks it's okay, or as he says, it's not bad. That's not the strongest. Wow, I love it. No, he's saying it's not terrible. I like it, but. I'm not going crazy because it's amazing. No, it's not bad. He says, "I like the throw pillows on the sofa. Throw pillow. I always thought that was a funny term. It's really just a small pillow that you often put on a chair or on a sofa, maybe on your bed too, but not that big long pillow that you put under your head. Throw pillows. You could use it to take a nap." You can put it behind your back to make your back feel comfortable, but generally we just sort of use them as colorful decoration on a chair, on a sofa, in a living room, something like that. Don't throw the pillows, kids, because if you knock over your mom's favorite piece of art, you're in big trouble. All right, let's take a break, and then we'll be back. Well, I like the big window, and it's big window seat. They are okay. Now I really like the wall of bookcases. I love that too. I always wanted a library in my place. Me too. I can see that in my perfect living room. So Michelle has a beautiful living room, but she would like to have a more beautiful living room. And to show her friend Chuck what she means, what her idea of the perfect living room is, 
she showed him a picture. Chuck didn't love it. He was like, "Eh, it's okay. It's not bad." But he did mention the colorful, beautiful little pillows, the throw pillows on the chair or the sofa in the picture. He liked those. Yes. But for Michelle, there's something else in this picture in this dream living room that she really loves. Yes, and she says, "Well, I like the big window and its big window seat." Oh, that's nice. Yes, I think I also agree. If my Perfect living room.、Mm. A window seat would be just great.、Mm. So a seat, the word seat is a noun, and that means something that you can sit on. So obviously, what we are sitting on, those are seats.、Mm -hmm. Chairs are seats.、Mm -hmm. You have a car seats.、Mm -hmm. um, Uh, car seats. Actually, that word though can mean two things. It can be your seat in the car, but、mm -hmm. it also can be a baby's car seat、um, that you would clip them into.、True. That's also called、true. a car seat. Here we had a window seat, so you had the big window, and there must have been maybe a built-in little、uh, like a bench. Yeah, like a bench, a and then they、chair. they put kind of cushions on there, and so they、yeah. call it window seat. That's right. So, yes. That's a funny word, right? It just really means anywhere to sit.、Mm -hmm. All right, on a plane you'll get a seat. If you're on the bus and it's busy, maybe you won't get a seat. But it could be a chair, it could be a bench, it could be a sofa.、Uh, I could say, take a seat on my bed. If you're in the living room, you can sit down there. So really, anywhere you can put your bum, relax your legs, and kind of just be happy in a chair sort of position. That's a seat. All right, back to the dialogue.、Uh, window seat, you know, a nice little bench, maybe with a thin cushion by the window. You can sit there and read your book as you look at the birds or something like that. Chuck's not in love with it either. He says they are okay. The big window, the window seat, yeah, yeah, not bad. But again, it's not something he thinks is amazing. But his eye, his eye is attracted to something that I might also think is nice. In this picture, or in a perfect living room, he says, "Now I really like the wall of bookcases, a big shelf of books, but not something you can move. Probably something that's built into the wall, and it might stretch from the floor all the way up to the ceiling, from one side of the room to the other side of the room. Think of a library. Think of the、uh, the the office of a university professor. They might have all those books in there." He really likes that. Yes, and so Michelle agrees, and she、mm. says, "I love that too.、Mm. I always wanted a library in my place.、Mm. I think a lot of people also have that dream. I don't、right. think I know that many books, or that I would read that many books, but it sure would look nice in my house to have a library. I have more than enough books for a big library, but I can't find someone to do the work." So if you guys can build me a library, give me a call. Anyways, back to Chuck. He says, "Me too." Yeah, like you, like me. A lot of people think having a beautiful wall of books or a library would be great. And as he says, I can see that in my perfect living room. Maybe not the window seat and the throw pillows, but the library. I want it. What is a library? Well, it's something you'd like, I'd like. I'm sure many of you would like. It's a tushu guan. Is that right? Mm. There you go. It's a place that you might go. Maybe it's a special building in your town, school, university. A special building you go, and if you have a card and all that, you can borrow books for a week or two and take them back. Or you could use it to talk about that big area, that area in your home where you have books. Hopefully, a lot of books. If you just have one little shelf with a few Spider-Man comics, I'm not sure you could say that's a library. You kind of need more than five old comic books to have a library. But if you're a big reader, if you're a bookworm, someone who likes reading and you collect your books and you love to look at them, maybe you lend them to people. But if it's your library, you don't have to do that like the other kind. But basically, it's a large collection, either personal or in the town,、uh, a large collection of books for people to read and enjoy. You can borrow books from my library. But please take care of them. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, that is,、uh, guys. That's all the time we have. <laughs> we'll be back with more great dialogues, and until then, maybe we'll see you sitting on a window seat, enjoying the throw pillows and your library as you look at the birds outside in your perfect living room. We hope so. so. Nice. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.
Michelle and Chuck are talking about their perfect living rooms. I like my living room, but it's not perfect. What do you mean? It feels pretty wonderful. Here. Look at this photo. It has the perfect living room. It's not bad. I like the throw pillows on the sofa. Well, I like the big window and its big window seat. They are okay. Now I really like the wall of bookcases. I love that too. I always wanted a library in my place. Me too. I can see that in my perfect living room. Hi, I'm Tina. We're looking at this key word. First, mean. Mean, 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 Seat, 名词，座位。Please find a seat and make yourself comfortable. 寻找一个座位，别拘束。最后一个单词 ，library, library， 名词，阅览区，图书馆。I spent the afternoon reading in my dad's library. 我在我爸的书房阅读了整个下午。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，talk about， 谈论。这是一个不可以分开的动词片语哦。About 是介系词，指的是关于、有关。我们来看看这个例句。We often talk about our favorite movies during lunch. 我们常常在午餐时谈论我们最喜欢的电影。下一个文法 ，look at， 看着。当 look 指的是看、注视的时候，是一个不及物动词。它的后面要先接上 at， 再接受词。我们来看看这个例句。I looked at the clock and realized I was running late. 我看着时钟，意识到我要迟到了。Be running late 指的是迟到。最后一个文法 ，a wall of 加名词，指的是一面的什么东西的墙。Wall 指的是墙壁、围墙。课文中讨论的是特定的一面墙，所以使用定冠词 the。我们来看看这个例句。Johnny has a wall of CDs in his room. Johnny 的房间有一面 CD 墙。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Not only do people get tired, but so do trains. Today we're going to go take a look at Zhanghua Railway Relic, and this has been called the Hotel. Of locomotives. So why don't we dive into today's lesson and learn a bit about where these trains sleep? Zhanghua Rail Station's famous sector garage was completed in 1922, at the same time as the railway's coastal line. Zhanghua Station is located where the Taichung Line and Coastal Lines meet, so it is an important place for train storage and maintenance. Located off Zhangmei Road, Zhanghua Sector Garage of the Old Taiwan Railways is considered a national heritage site. The garage has a round platform with 12 tracks that spread out like a fan. Fan-shaped sector garages like this one are also called roundhouses. They are relics of the steam locomotive era. Zhanghua's sector garage stores locomotives overnight once they're done with their daytime operations. The trains receive maintenance here as well. Thus, the garage is called the Hotel of Locomotives. Visitors to this hotel can explore the unique circular platform that makes the sector garage famous, as well as witness the workings of trains. If you take a trip to Zhanghua, set aside some time to check out this unique railway garage 
and learn a few things about Taiwan's railway culture. By far, my favorite way to travel in Taiwan is by train. So getting to take a look at behind the scenes of how trains are stored and maintained and how they organize them is really interesting. If you're going to be going to Zhanghua, you should definitely take a look at that circular platform, how it moves the trains around. It's super cool. So make sure you take a look. I know I will.